I want to double track. Have you ever wanted to double track? You, do you know what that is? Like the idea, Elton John, oh, he's somebody who uh, some people say his voice always sounds double track. It sounds like there is multiple layers of his voice on top of each other. And sometimes it's like one, sometimes it sounds like a million. Interesting thing about double tracking is it's done in a lot of different ways. It isn't just one sound. Like the simplest way of double tracking is to sing a song or an excerpt of a song and then just record another track in your digital audio editor with the same melody that you sang and you play them back at the same time. You play them back at the same time and the fact that you sang those differently and had slightly different timing and pitch nuances is what makes it sound, wow, this sounds cool. And you can start playing with stuff like you could take one of them and pan them left and make the other one pan it right and maybe that's interesting. Maybe you even add a bit of delay to one or something like that to make it even sound a bit different. That's kind of double tracking. That's kind of a natural way of doing it. But actually in your digital workstation, you can actually just record your voice once and you can make a duplicate of that track and you could just delay the time a bit. You could actually even shift the pitch of it down just a bit. You're creating kind of an artificial doubled sound and that has a unique sound to it. You actually can then, you actually just take your recording and you could actually use an effects processor on that, like a doubling processor that makes a copy of it and manipulates the time and pitch. And so you're kind of processing it. All these ways kind of can make your voice sound like more than one voice and they might do it in a way that sounds natural or not natural. And it's a fantastic trick. And in, in reality, it's actually more common in production than actually almost using harmony is using doubling. And actually, it's actually really common in choirs, actually, if you think about it. Part of what makes a choir so pleasurable to listen to isn't necessarily just when they're singing harmony. All these people singing the same part is what makes a choir sound so lush. So it's a great thing to experiment with recording-wise. Recording your part again or copying your part and making slight changes to it to make it more thick and lush. And you don't have to do it for a whole song. You could literally use it to just punctuate one word. Very popular in hip hop and rap to do that, but can be used in any style of music.